We're here at the Turbonomics booth at VMworld 2016, uh, formerly VM Turbo. Can you tell us a little bit about the name change and uh, the rebrand and what you're showing here at VMworld? Sure. Um, well, they're all kind of related, so let me start. Sure. The rebrand was really about moving beyond the core. So when we founded the company in 2009, uh, VMs were sort of everything, that was workloads. But the thesis of the company always was any workload should be able to run anywhere, on any infrastructure, and at any time, time being a surrogate of demand. Right. But by the time you roll forward to today, VMs are one of many workloads. You can have VMs, VDI, containers, JVM, SQL, and so the whole idea is how do we serve all of those types of workloads in both the, the legacy VM stack, but also the hybrid public cloud stack, as an example. And so, as we thought about this, we were really confusing customers, prospects, partners, with the name VM Turbo. And we thought, we've got to preserve the best part of that name, which is the Turbo, which intimates fast. Plus, we get about two million downloads, form fills, reg fills of our product per year. So we said, let's keep the Turbo, and imply fast, but then let's really look at the core IP of what we have and what we do, and let's make sure that that comes across in explaining it. So there's two um, second half of that name. One is autonomic, which means self-managing and self-organizing. And autonomic is all about taking out the human middleware buffer between the application workload demand and the infrastructure supply, but all in real time. So how can these application workloads pick the infrastructure on which they run, size themselves, start themselves, stop themselves? That's what this is all about. Even clone themselves. And so that's the autonomic piece. And the second piece is, when you're working top down, instead of an allocation-based model, which is the way IT is managed today, the idea is to work top down. Let the applications or the demand pick the infrastructure supply on which they run, instead of uh, the other way around. And lo and behold, you become much more performant and much more efficient. And so economic, which is the way the economy works, that's the other side of this. So Turbonomic is about fast self-managing apps, and we do it in an economic model or with the principles of the economy, where demand finds supply. And so what you see up here is first the heartbeat, the ON running on Turbonomic and the constant pulse keeping your data center in a desired state or a healthy state. And then the economic is all the allusion to the market economy. So you see the NASDAQ-like uh, parameters where you can see buyers and sellers and market matching and number of actions we take autonomically to keep the environments healthy. You'll see a workload count, 2.3 million workloads today under management. That's the type of thing we're doing. That's what the name rebranding was all about. And um, in the keynotes today, we talked about uh, multiple clouds. Can you tell us about how you guys are utilizing that or taking Sure. The, we've always believed that this will never be a complete replatforming of the industry. So you're going to live in a hybrid world, but you're also going to live in a multi-cloud world, particularly in a public cloud environment. Right. So you'll have your private data center and a public, or publics, plural. Um, this is something we actually started working with Verizon and established something called the Intelligent Cloud Control all the way back in November of last year. And what that afforded was Verizon Enterprise Services accounts to take their workloads and when they want to burst to know not just based on price, but based on price, performance, compliance, data sovereignty, security, all the different measures, what is the optimal cloud in which to run those workloads? And by the way, should it change when the demand changes on the applications themselves? And if you're going to burst something to the public workload cloud, maybe there's other workloads that should be coming back because you have availability in your existing in environment, in your private data center. And the natural question here is, why would you want to pay twice? If you own the capacity here and you can run it uh, off-prem, let's make sure that we're bringing something back on-prem. And so Verizon has created uh, accounts with all of the major public cloud providers, hyperscale public cloud providers, and in turn, we've instrumented our autonomic engine to ensure the performance of the applications themselves, regardless of which cloud you run on or whether you want to run them on-prem. 
So that's what we do with intelligent cloud control by Verizon, powered by Turbinata. And I understand there's somebody here that could give us a demo of products possibly? Yes, I'd love to introduce you to more Cohen. She's uh, coming up in just a minute to give you a live demo. So can we see a demo of the uh, product? Of course, definitely. Um, so what we have here is an environment running across AWS, Azure, SoftLayer, and on-prem. We'll show you recommendations of based on price, where it is you should run the workloads, how you should size them to make sure that application performance is assured and you're not overpaying for resources that you're not using on the cloud. Again, agnostic across AWS, SoftLayer, and Azure. So first of all, what you see here is if we look at the physical machines, you'll see that we have on-prem instances, Azure, AWS, and SoftLayer. When we drill down into our virtual machines, we can see the actions that we have in the environment and the savings associated with executing those actions. Let's take a closer look into those actions and into the VMs in the environment. If I take a look at the detailed list of VMs, I can see how much it is that I'm spending on all of the VMs that I have running on the cloud. Again, it doesn't matter whether they're running on AWS or software. If you go back and take a look at the actions, we can see for every action how much it is that that action is saving us. For example, in this case, we can save this much an hour by moving this virtual machine from Azure to AWS uh, on host and storage. And again, these are the savings associated with taking that action. If we drill down into the planning, we can help our customers migrate to public cloud and between. For example, if we choose a certain group of virtual machines, for example, and we can run by selecting where we want to run them. The solution of this should be where to place those workloads. If we go back to the global environment, we'll be able to show you the risks in your environment overall, how to size your workloads in order to assure application performance. So thanks for uh, showing that interesting demo. Um, where can they go if they're interested in the product and want to find out more? So turbonomic.com under solutions, you can find everything that we offer for multi-cloud or hybrid cloud solutions. Great, thank you. Thank you.